Let's not forget Vegas. Today is opening day for the huge city center project on the Strip. What a time to open up for business. Vegas is suffering, gambling's down, and there is that Dubai connection. Stocks up, dollar down, a new look GE, a big jump in home sales in the pipeline, a massive hit to commercial real estate, and Vegas rolls the dice for eight and a half billion. And you think this is a slow news day? Straight to the big board, this is a rally. $15 gain today, 1.5% higher. Here's another big story. It is the opening of the city center in Las Vegas. We've been covering it all day. We're joined now by Las Vegas expert John Restrepo. He's from the Restrepo Consulting Group. John, thanks very much for joining us. Um, Thank my you, first Stuart, reaction to this is, look, th this is a pretty bad time to be opening a massive project on the Strip. And it's particularly bad, again, this is my opinion, for the competitors, the Bellagios of this world, the Mirages of this world, because their business is down and now you've got this huge extra supply of hotel rooms and casino space. Well, it's clearly a lot more challenging than MGM would like, would like it to be considered when the project got started and the plans that were going on. But the project is moving forward. I think there would be some level of cannibalization initially. The market will grow a bit. Uh, I think according to MGM, uh, MGM there's 5 to 7, uh, 7 to 10% growth in visitation. We're a little more conservative. We think maybe it's far closer to 5 to 6% growth in visitation. But in any event, it is a challenging time. They've gotten there. They're moving forward though with the project. It's fully funded. There's no cross defaults with uh, Dubai and its problems. So I think uh, it's a, and the unique nature of the project is it could bring Las Vegas to a new level. But you're right, it could have been open at better times if MGM had, had a, a choice in the matter. Does it try to top the others, like the new win or the Bellagio? Is it, is it Las Vegas style beat this, something even bigger and more grand? Uh, this is by far the grandest thing ever done in Las Vegas. We will never probably see in my lifetime a project of this dimension with a construction value of $8.5 billion, a uh, uh, mixed-use development of this magnitude and this depth and breadth will not be seen in Las Vegas for, for, many, for many, many years, I don't think, okay. if ever. Let, I mean. let me throw this at you, that Las Vegas is no longer the king of the hill when it comes to gambling. Macau right. is the leader of the pack. Is that true? You know, it depends on how you count the numbers, but Macau is definitely some, some pretty good advantage in terms of its proximity. To, to Asia and, uh, and, and that part of the world. So you do have those issues. They, they have their challenges, too, in terms of the number of people they limit to go travel from mainland China to Macau. I think Las Vegas is still very popular and it will remain, so it is considered ma the mecca of gambling. So we still have a, a large market share with South Americans, Europeans, and Canadians, and, and uh, folks from Mexico. So I think we'll hold our own, but no doubt uh, Macau does provide competition. You know, I actually went to the Macau. I, I was in the Wynn Casino about a year ago. Completely different experience. The casinos Correct. in Macau, dead quiet. There's not that ding, 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 ding from slot machines. It's all table machines, uh, table games. And the amount of money that's put on the table is far higher than it is in Las Vegas. It's really a different sort of place. It, it's a whole different sort of place. The amenities are different. The yeah. packaging of the, of, the, of the product and the experience is completely different. And so I think both can co be honest with you, I think both can coexist quite well together. As you know, many of the resort properties here, uh, companies here in Las Vegas have large, large holdings in Macau, so they see future in both, in both markets. So you see Las Vegas is down but definitely not out and coming back soon. Can I sum it up like that, John? I, I, you know, I would say it's going to take a little longer to come out of this than we're typically used to. We've been used to having V-style recoveries. Yeah. I think we're going to have a more elongated, what I call Nike swoosh type recovery. We're going to come back, but it's going to take a longer time to come back. This is a very deep recession and very unique to, this, to the world, so to speak. And it's something that we're just not going to pop out of, uh, out of, out of quickly. That, that being said, we do have a very entrepreneurial group here in Las Vegas, very forward-looking forward group and very top management at MGM Mirage, for example. So I think we'll get through this, and I think everyone's put aside a lot of the hubris that Vegas has been based on for many years and are looking at the future realistically. All right, John Restrepo, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate you being with us, sir. Uh, thank you, Lots Stuart. of news Appreciate today from the markets with stocks going up, gold up, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to bring you the other news of the day, which is uh, car sales.